Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Let's Taste with the Intrepid Wino, uh, otherwise known as James Scarcebrook. Uh, I've been sent some samples by the Wingara Group, who, amongst other wineries, own Katnook Estate in Kunawara. I have uh, previously tasted um, one of their wines before. It was a sparkling Shiraz from memory. Um, and uh, many years ago, I was actually a guest of Catnook Estate um, when they, uh, I don't know if they do it anymore, but they used to have, uh, I think it was called the Barrel Series Auctions. And uh, a number of wineries would donate a barrel of wine uh, for an auction, uh, I believe it was for charity. Uh, and it was a great, uh, great weekend that I spent there. But um, the, the two wines that I'm going to be tasting in this video are from the Founders Block um, range, which uh, have a recommended retail price of $20. So, uh, without further ado, let's start with the Founders Block Shiraz 2015 Vintage. Uh, right away, I can see uh, it's a lovely dark kind of purple color. Um, you know, you know it's dark when you bring a little bit of air into the wine and the, the bubbles are actually kind of that purple color. You know, it's a pretty dark wine. Um, not, not super intense. I wouldn't expect it to be uh, at that kind of price point. Very classic, very clean, um, slightly soapy. Shiraz uh, aromatic uh, c compounds, um, you know, that fruits, that uh, sort of plum, you know, spice, sort of like plum pudding almost, because uh, it's got a bit of spice in there, a bit of raisiny kind of aroma. Yeah, fairly straightforward nose. Let's taste. Light, clean, um, varietal, no wood character in there, uh, nice and fresh, pretty straightforward, nothing particularly interesting about it, but you're not going to be really disappointed at $20. Um, you might be able to find some more interesting wines at that price point, but uh, I, would, I would think that the Founders Block probably would get down you know, some pretty decent discounting at like Dan Murphy's and First Choice Cellar. So keep an eye out for the specials. When it's on special, I think it would probably be a better value. $20, it's it's fine. The other wine is the 2014 Founders Block Cabernet Sauvignon. Uh, Cabernet, of course, uh, undoubtedly, the Punawara region's uh, premier grape variety. Again, lovely, bright, um, sort of, I guess, proud varietal fruit characters on the nose um, in that kind of cassis, blackberry realm. There's a little bit of leafiness in there, a little bit of mint, uh, you know, kind of a, a minty menthol is not uncommon in Kunawara Cabernets. Yeah, nice and inviting, very fresh. Let's taste. Very, very pleasant. Not sort of gloopy and jammy and broad. Um, it, it's a very easy drinking Cabernet wine, really. Uh, I think probably the Cabernet, for me, shows a little bit more personality, a little bit more interest than the Shiraz does. Uh, I think that, again, they're both really fine. They're absolutely fine wines for $20. I don't think most people expect a lot for twenty dollars, but of course you can be surprised, and sometimes I, I am. Um, but yeah, these are, are really good examples, um, particularly you know as far as well-made varietal wines coming from Kunawara, and you know these are both great varieties that uh, do very well in Kunawara. So uh, thank you very much, guys, for uh, watching this video. Thank you to Wingara and Katnook for sending me some samples. Uh, if you did enjoy this video, please hit that like button. Uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel for Intrepid Wino, uh, and that way you'll be able to see uh, all the new videos as soon as they become available. Uh, come and visit me at intrepidwino.com, check out the Vincast, uh, and check out some of my other writings. But until next time, cheers.